Oh, Monday or Lima? Yeah, you should. You have to guess what's wrong. Where the the toshi is a problem. Shit, it's a Freuner. Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video where Mama Lucy, Anna and myself, three European girls living in Taiwan, talk about how it is dealing with staff in Taiwan as a business owners. How different is it to our own country and what difficulties have we faced along the way? Let's get started. I work with my husband family. Mm -hmm. So her mom has a small hotel and a small shop, convenience store. So I was working there oh. and I learned so much. Uh, about the language, about everything. They ask me the alcohol mm -hmm. and also the cigarette. I know everything. By the way, Sometimes they will, they will show me and say, oh shit, it's a foreigner. Nice. I admire you. That's really difficult. Work in yeah. a convenience store and you're still learning Chinese. Can you yeah. imagine? And I also work in the Ting mm. Sa the oh, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was shocking when they saw me because I'm a foreigner. In Taipei, can you find a foreigner? I, I a pop, pop. Like this, you learn really quick. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You have to, right? What about you? What do you do? You have to. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> she was an English teacher, and uh, yeah, for the first year, I was an English teacher as well. I was, yeah, so I was a I was a chef in England, so I kind of missed it after one year of working with the, with the children. And as much as I love children, I was like, I really miss this. It's my passion. We in India very love to eat truffle. Here is a food from Taiwan's It has lemon, and the body is very crispy. Let me show you. I learned the language. My husband was fed up with his job. He was working, I think, at a bank, um, and he just wanted to change. So one day he was like, how about we open a restaurant? And I was like, yeah, but apparently people hate British food, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we opened a, a night market stall uh, just to test the water, see what people thought. And then it kind of went from there. That's where the story begins. First, tell us about your business, like with your husband. Yeah, so for, for me, I was teaching English and I'm like you, I love it. I really <laughs> love it. Like I love teaching. I love all my students, it's a problem. <laughs> she's so much. she's such a good teacher by the way guys yeah she's such a home and teacher that was my biggest problem was working at schools and institutes they don't necessarily love teaching or children or right. their students just a money and money making yeah right? yeah yeah and so that was my main reason for like going alone was because I, I genuinely care about the education system and about the students and stuff. How did you start working with your husband? You opened the gym. Yeah. That's yeah. right, yeah. Because uh, we have a place we can use it. Yeah. And after he wanted to open his own import business, so we begin to selling the machine also. And now uh, he, he make a, his own brand, Ganin <laughs> Lao <laughs> but I quit this already. <laughs> yeah, I begin my own YouTube channel. It's better. I feel more free because in the company I was a marketing accountant uh, and uh, dealing with the bank. But I mean, to be an accountant in your second language, that is not easy at all. Yeah. I know. Uh, and I never seen <laughs> that. Even in my first language, I can't <laughs> dealing with the. Yeah, you know, I went a few times to the labor office. Right. So when there's something. Oh, Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I find that amazing because yeah. that actual part, my husband hands out all of that part. And when I told him that you were doing it, he was like, even he finds it difficult in his own language. So for you to do all the labor insurance and all the, you know, the accounting and stuff, yeah. I really admire that. Mm. I think the hardest thing was, I guess, was was the Chinese as well because I was chucked into being a boss, having staff, and to teach them how to make food. And to write SOPs in Chinese, or my Chinese, I was still learning. It was all Google Translate, you know. And even when I look back at the old menu, the recipes now, I'm like, oh my god, that makes no sense. It was terrible. But my, I think it was, you have, you have to be like a boss. You have to be professional, but at the same time, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I mean, I don't know how to say it. And I think it was um, the hardest thing was was the language. And but the, on the other side, because I had to do it, like Anna, you have you have to find a way. You have to find a way to progress your Chinese really quick. You have to be okay with looking a fool. You have to just be like, okay, I'm just gonna just gonna say it and just gonna look like a fool, you know. The staff are different in in Taiwan than they are in the UK. The staff in the UK might be more um, direct. I think if they have a problem, they might tell you. But in Taiwan, they're not so direct. You have to guess what's wrong. Um, I find that difficult. Now I'm better at it. 
Uh, for example, they just, uh, or many staff would want to leave, they would just say, oh, yeah, you're su, something like that. And then next week, you'd see them working at the, the restaurant next door. Mm -hmm. And I just think, you can be honest, it's fine, you know, yeah, I don't mind. But in the UK, they'd be like, oh, yeah, we have a bunch of goodies, I'm fine, you know, fine. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she's like, jump out. And they're very, uh, very, and I sometimes I think, oh my god, have I done something wrong? They can't be there themselves around me. But then I realise it's just the culture. And then, well, we, you know what I mean? Well, we sit down, you know, yeah. What about you? What's the hardest thing, you think? Me, I, um, you know, in France, we it's really hard to find a job. Mm. So when you go to an interview and you put everything you can to have the job, and uh, even if you're not really good at it, you will try to do it. Yeah. But in Taiwan, it's so easy to have a job, and so many places. So I think people sometimes they don't feel the chance to to, to go to work because right. in France it's really a chance because it's really hard. No, no, so much place. You feel appreciated, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And sometimes when I interview some people, I'm really shocked because first they come, they they wear the the <gasps> yeah. and they, they, yeah. they, they, the the employment <laughs> is to work in the front desk. Yeah, you know, and the the hair, the hair is like this. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you know, the front desk, the front desk usually you need to, to uncover your face <laughs> and sometimes they don't even take the interview paper. Because I said, I say, your resume is and I said, no, I said, but you go to... One time I feel really angry, I said, you go to seven and you go to write it and you yeah. come back when you write it down. And one time the, the kid, because you know, it was maybe 18 or 19, mm -hmm. he came with his mom and this his mom who asked everything. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I was, it's the front desk, the front desk, yeah. It's, you need to talk, if you're scared to talk to the client, exactly. have to, just have bring to, mommy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in France, if you don't want the job, you will call or you will send a message saying, yeah. okay, uh, sorry, I found another job, I want to... Uh, yeah, I won't be coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you don't wait the day, normally you begin to do the sushi, and how do you pull out? We have a lot of people just not, not coming. Yeah. And you, yes. you, 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 you like, even for interviews, like you're going purposely in the morning, yeah. they're like, oh, please call me and come out. And you get there at nine o'clock and they don't come, and they don't yeah. answer the phone. Yeah. And you think, yeah, this, uh, uh, I think it's, yeah. it's just, you just can't say, oh, it's, you don't say, just say, if you don't want, it's okay, just say, I found a, I, I was in another interview and I, yeah, I, I got it's another yeah, job. Okay, yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm not going to come tomorrow. Okay, but they don't call. Oh. Oh my name So yeah. Yeah, I think it's different because in Taiwan there's a tea yeah. But in France we even the the walk to to clean the office and thing is really hard to find. So I think yeah, yeah. we appreciate it. So you hold on to it more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you present yeah. yourself better, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right now we need you to subscribe to Anna's King Dao, Hago Anna, and also to Lucy's Mama Lucy. Um so I really enjoyed talking to you today, guys. And Again, if you want to, you can check out our new desserts in Ingo Nai Nai, Ta Pu Si. Um, so really appreciate it. And we'll, uh, if you haven't already, you can check out our restaurants, one's in Danjo, one's in Xingyi. We're also in department stores. We're online, www.richit.com. And uh, thank you guys, so good to talk to you. Yeah, and we will you. see you next time. Bye-bye.